guys welcome back to my channel today I want to create with you minimalist makeup look and I'm gonna use this fabulous mirror look at this guys I bought this on Amazon it's from a company called Fancy it's quite impressive you can turn off and turn on different tones of lights or no light at all which is fabulous and you it stands anywhere even on the edge of my sink <laughs> with the help of my makeup bag which is fabulous so anyway I'm gonna put the light on so today we will be creating minimalist makeup look which will include concealer or certain foundation in your skin tone guys this is the neutral from uh, Westman Atelier which will match my skin tone even it's maybe slightly lighter but you will be applying it only on small areas blush as well from Westman Atelier mine is in Shushet tone the next product I like to use will be this highlighting stick they are building a restaurant in our building and apparently they decide to do it when I start filming so yeah anyway guys I will perhaps no possible way of over screaming this right like what to do with construction workers right and I have here eyeshadow oh, actually this is called Beauty Evolution All Over Contour Cream Finish from Manasi. This one is the bisque and I believe guys this one is the one which is the color is considered as a tone which you can wear all year around. So I will use that as an eyeshadow. So for me, I'm gonna have to wait. They say the eyes are the window to your soul, right? So for me, the eyebrows are always very important to have on, even with super natural makeup. It's just something I like to have. I feel like it defines the shape of my face. So no matter what you like to do, guys, uh, for minimal makeup, I like to use this brow pencil from Anastasia. This one is in tone Ebony, or how do you say it? And I like to create strokes, as you could see in my previous eyebrow video, just gentle strokes, take your time. Also, I'm very focused lately to start my eyebrow arch. You see it's right here. Oops. <laughs> my eyebrows arch starts up here right now. So I am always making sure that I look straight and where is my eye pupil, I will make sure the arch starts there. So I'm back guys, uh, when they finally stopped drilling <laughs> the memory card on my camera I just gave up, I was just like, it's full, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, <laughs> anyway, so anyway, um, for natural makeup look, I think it's always good to do eyebrows as a strokes, your eyebrows are your decision, you may have thick bulky brows, you don't have to touch your brows, you may don't have brows like I do, this is the way to go guys. <laughs> Anyway, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take my Anastasia foundation stick and I am just going to apply it with my finger to the areas where I feel need a little bit of help. Put on the makeup look, it's very important not to, you know, I don't like personally to do lines or too much of foundation. It's less is more for sure and my complicated areas as you can see it already looks so much better are the dark circles here, dark circles here around my lips and here I have a little bit of pigmentation so it will be as well there. So I'm just going to show you, I'm going to apply on one side and as well is very important for this makeup to have, if you use concealer or you use foundation stick like I do, it has to be your skin tone guys. So don't go too dark because you don't want to have the foundation all over your face. You really just want to have it in certain areas. 
Do you see the difference? I didn't put really any, any much of foundation and you can see like this area got a little bit more lifted the line the nose line got a little bit more fresher looking because it's i have redness around my nose and around the eye area as well and especially this corner here that always gives me a lot of trouble and i have to be careful not to apply super light product to my eyelids because it makes my eyes look very swollen and small and that is the last thing I personally want to have my eyes appearing small. You see the difference? This looks like airbrushed slightly, like lifted and this looks tired. I mean it doesn't look bad, it just needs a little bit of help. And again around this area here and to me it's very important really to keep blending you can use brush but sometimes when you have such a thick product as this product actually is it gives you a natural look but it is thick i did purchase for it this uh, brush from investment atelier you could have saved the money honestly it's not the best but that's not the point it's nice but that's not the point right now um, for this, to me personally, it's better to apply it this way with my fingers, take your time. Blending is very important. Anyway, I think this is enough of foundation. So I love, for no makeup makeup look, I like to use cream eyeshadows. So guys, this eyeshadow, I didn't like it from the beginning, but I feel like I found my way of using it. So definitely cannot do it with my fingers because I have long nails. <laughs> so just put it on a kind of firm brush, I would say. This one is from MAC, just play basic blending brush, but I will not use it with my Tom Ford brush because this one is too soft and I like that this one is a little bit thicker. And just gently blend it. even apply a little bit below just a little bit so it's as natural as it can be and if you feel like you apply too much you can always remove it because I feel like this eyeshadow is very easy to you know to work just very little bit like almost nothing guys so the next that actually will be I like to set my eyebrows for the more natural look and I am just going to brush it through this is um, 24 hour brow set from benefit guys and I use the smaller side just to lift my natural eyebrows here you see I feel like it just makes them look so pretty very little bit, no much. The next product I'm going to use will be my Westman Atelier Chouchette blush. Hello camera. And this I like to apply on actually, <laughs> this is the Tom Ford uh, brush for foundation, I believe it's 02. And I just like to apply this blush with that. I as well don't care as much for this not to look for powder blushes because I feel like they create a very heavy thick layer and you can even go a little bit over your nose guys and I like to go a little bit higher with the blush I think it's more natural when you don't put it just on your cheeks and because uh, my uh, Westman Atelier product is slightly, slightly on a matte side. I'm going to apply as well the Westman Atelier Nectar and as well I'm going to apply it with the brush first just to see the location of where I'm applying it and then you can always reapply with your fingers. Blend it with your finger, right? So this will be the location I like to apply it to. As well I have long nails so sometimes it's not easy to work it away. As well if you apply a little bit of it here 
it makes your lips appear kind of plumped. It shows the arch of your lip, which is gorgeous. And here, so you look a little bit of flushed, but as well, don't use powder highlighters for this look because it looks too unnatural in a daytime, I would say. I like them, like I have the Tom Ford one and I love it for the evening, but for the daytime, I just don't feel it's very appropriate, honestly. Because it looks like you have it on your face, like you can see it. your face looks metallic, you know what I mean? It's okay at night, but at the daytime, mm -mm. I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara and I'm going to curl my lashes. Try to keep it very light as well. You don't want too much. It's a natural look. <laughs> and now lips, guys. With lips, what I like to do, I'm lately not big. Oops, my shoe fell off. I'm lately not big in glosses, but I'm going to use this 772 matte lipstick from Dior and what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna take my finger and dip it gently to the lips for like tint but very natural. You see it like adds color but this is very bright lipstick, very, very bright lipstick. Let me show you, very bright lipstick. But if you apply it like the way I do, it's gorgeous and it's matte, it lasts on your lips forever. And if you are like me and you even like to do one more step, Eyeliner, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put very gentle line. You see, it's like blends with my lashes, but it gives me it gives me like this instant eye opening look. So, and you have to just stay very gentle with that, guys. Don't don't go too dramatic. As well, I don't go too low or too high. I, li I like to stay in a location where my lashes end. So as well, one more thing what I kind of like to do once my eyelashes are dry, I just like to extra lift them. Because I have the kind of lashes which are kind of um, strong. They are very strong, guys. So they always kind of face down, even if I use the lash curl. As you can see, you can instantly see them. Like it looked like I had no lashes and now I look like I have lashes. So guys, this is the natural glow look. Very minimalistic, I will say. What do you think? Very little bit of product, but I feel like the rosy look is good for winter, spring, summer, you know, any time of the year. Or if you just want to run around the town and you want to, you know, look put together but not too much. I love uh, powder eyeshadows, but sometimes powder eyeshadows give you very specific look. And what I found with a little bit of cream eyeshadow on your eyelid is perfect. Like I said, I cannot just go and apply light eyeshadow, light eyeshadow on my eyelid and makes my eye shrink. So good for the people who can. I personally can do that. So I always like to add a little bit of tone to my eye eyelids. What do we think, guys? And the lipstick is just perfect when you blend it just with your finger. Let me know what are your favorite products for minimalist look. I have to say I'm really enjoying this. I feel like, you know, I'm ready for the day. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. See you next week. Bye.